Hi yogis, welcome to my channel. My name is DJ Kim. Today is day 13 of our 100 day yoga challenge. Today's session, we will focus on strengthening the scapular muscles and also enhance full body flexibility. This beginner friendly and also intermediate practitioner as well, session aims to provide both strength, especially shoulder strength and core and relaxation. No props are necessary today, so let's start with one of my favorite daily warm-up routines, which is practiced by many, many numerous Chinese martial artists. By the way, I am Korean. Let's get started. So I want you to stand in front of the in uh, in the middle of your mat, relax, and then let's work with the wrist exercise. Interlace your fingers and then just circle it. Here you go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach your arm forward and then fist and open. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Now, rec notation. Here we go. As you inhale, exhale, drop your head down. Inhale up. Look up, exhale down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Look forward. This time, rotate your head horizontally. Left first. Ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Relax. Look forward. And then let's rotate it clockwise. As you exhale, just drop your head. Relax. And then rotate your head to the right side as you inhale. As you exhale, come back to starting position. As you inhale, reverse, rotate to the left. Exhale, come back to starting position. One more time. As you inhale, rotate to the right. Exhale, come back to original position. Inhale, rotate to the left. Exhale, come back to starting position. Perfect. Let's work on our elbows. Arms up and circle your forearm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, counter, right, reverse, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 more, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, perfect. Grab your right shoulder with the left hand and then rotate your arms clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left shoulder. Grab your left shoulder with the right hand. Ready, go. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's use both arms. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Relax your shoulders. Let's work in on hips. Kick your knees up and then swing it just like this just like this and then left let's start with the right hips first ready go one two three as high as possible four five six seven eight nine ten perfect let's move on left forward left foot little forward and then kick swing back ready Ten. Ready. Go. One, two, three, four. Open up. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk slowly. Shake your legs. Shake your legs. Let's work on our knees. Put your feet together. Knees together. Grab your knees on with your hands. Cover it up. Your kneecaps, and then clockwise. One two three four five six wow seven eight nine ten counterclockwise reverse one two three four five six seven eight nine ten perfect now ankles Ground your left feet into the ground, di diagonally, 45 degree angle, and then lift your right knees up and then circle it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Come down. Ground your right foot. 45 degree angle. Open it up. And then lift your left feet. And then circle it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Come down. Perfect. Shake your legs, shake your legs. Shake, shake, shake. Now, we're, what we're going to do, we're going to shake our body, swing our arms top. But how are we going to do? L bend your left knees and lift your right toes up and then this way. And then s shift your weight onto the right leg. Bend your right knee and then straighten your leg, left leg this way. So, like this. One two, three, four, five, if you look over the shoulder that's fine too, seven, eight, nine, ten more, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back in the middle of the mat. Uh, let's work on our calf muscles. So what we're going to do, we're going to just jump, jump, jump. But in this case, what we're going to do, always keep your heels off the ground. That's the point. When you jump... If you're not, if this is too difficult, then you can touch the heel on the ground. But the point is, try to lift your heels off all the time, and then we're gonna jump 30 times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, everybody. This is the warm up that I love sometimes. Chinese martial artists do a lot, so I want you to use them too. Let's start with our practice. Stand in front of the man, take a deep breath in. Ground yourself, relax your shoulders, look forward or look at your nose, just be present. Now feel the rhythm of your breath as you exhale deep down through the sole of your feet, you are grounded. As you inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky, mountain pose. As you exhale, hinge from the hips. If needed, bend your knees and forward. Stretch your hamstring by bend your right knees and left knee slowly. You can push your palms inward into the mat, like just like this. But the point is always belly on your thigh first, and then you can extend your leg, just like this. One by one, slowly stretch your body. Perfect. Just like this. Five, four, three, two, one. As you inhale, half lift. As you exhale, plank, inhale, stay in the position, exhale, knees down, bend your elbow, let's shift forward, and inhale, chest forward and up, top, top of the feet down on the ground, shoulders squeeze in the back, elbows bent so that you can push the palm into the mat, look forward, yes, perfect. As you exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog again. Bend your right knees and left knees. Just stretch your body as you need it. Perfect. As you inhale, step forward. Fit hips width apart. As you exhale, four, four. Go deeper into it. As you inhale, arms up towards the sky. Mountain pose. As you exhale, Tadasana. Standing. One more sun salutation. Let's go. As you inhale, arms up. Exhale, four, four. As you inhale, half lift. As you exhale, plank. As you inhale, stay in the forearm, strong plank. As you exhale, knee down, elbow bend, shift forward, half down. As you inhale, cobra. Elbow bend. This is how you improve your back bend. As you exhale, hips up and back. Downward facing dog. As you inhale, step forward. As you exhale, forward forward. As you inhale, mountain pose. As you exhale, Tadasana, standing pose. As you inhale, mountain pose. As you exhale, forward forward. Belly on your thigh, bend your knees first, hands underneath your shoulders. And then if you can hips move further up, then you can go four four. As you inhale, push the palms into the mat, half lift. As you exhale, step back, plank. As you inhale, stay firm, strong plank position. As you exhale, knees down. Bend your elbow, half down. As you inhale, chest forward, shoulder blades squeeze in the back, elbow bent, remember, look forward. As you exhale, downward facing dog, hips up and back and stretch your body. Look at your navel. As you inhale, comes back to table pose. What we're going to practice is scapular push-up from now on. Scapular push-up is, if you look at the scapular movement, here's just, this is protraction. Scapular go further. It means in the back, scapular, not, uh, 
uh, shoulder blades away from each other, like this, this. And then we're going to do retraction. How? S squeeze your shoulder blades in. In this case, what you need to do is you need, you need to be careful of shoulders always away from the ears. That's and with straightened arm. So let's move on to table pose. Come back to a table pose. Slowly sink your body, squeeze your shoulder blades in the back so that they can touch. If you put a finger, like hands in it, you can actually grab the hands with your scapula. That's scapular push up. So with straightened hand, shoulder above your wrist, hips above your knees, go down, squeeze the retraction, and push, push shoulder blades away from each other. This is one. Let's do 10 times first. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Relax your shoulders. Breathe into the shoulders. Get rid of the stress that is accumulated sword in your shoulders. Scapular, which is very, very, very important because it stabilizes your arm balances, planks, any kind of yoga poses that your hands has to be on the ground. You need to strengthen the scapular muscles first. I'm practicing handstand right now, press to handstand. My scapular muscles is not strong enough to move my body up. That's why I'm actually working on my scapular muscles right now. And if you have strong scapular muscles, your practice, long hours of practice, wouldn't be wasted. P let's keep on shoulder scapular mush, scapular push up. One more time, 10 times though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Relax, get rid of the stress, breathe in to the muscles, especially in the back. Mm. Perfect. Now, let's make it a little bit more challenging. How? You can lift your knees and then scapula push-ups, or you can actually go into a plank pose and then do the scapula push-up. Whichever you are, how strong your scapular muscles are, you'll be able to do everything y if you want to but if you're not able to do that just table from the table pose you can do the scapula push-up let's do 10 more times okay with knee both tabletop pose knees up and then do one two shoulders away from ears three four five six seven eight nine ten perfect Rest, breathe in to the muscles that you just used, worked on. That is very important. Things happen in a way that you think. That's power of thinking. So think about it. You are giving energy to your muscles right now through breathing. Okay? Okay, let's move on. One more 10 times, skip a push-up, and then we are going to move up. This time, I'm going to do plank, skip or push-up. Are you guys ready? Okay, ready? Go. Ten times. Ready? Tuck your tailbone. If you're doing plank, plank, not this, not this, hips down, and tuck your tailbone in. And then shift forward, and then go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Stay there. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Come down into a kneeling pose. Close your eyes and breathe in through the muscles that you just worked on. Perfect. Now, let's move on to plank again and this time stay in a foreign plank position and roll your body 
onto the outer edge of your left foot, hips up and high, stack your right leg on top of your left leg, and then what we're going to do, bring your right leg into the left thigh, inside the thigh, like a tree variation, and hands up and reach up, stay there. If you cannot, go this way, that's fine. Look forward, that's fine. And then hips down and up, five times, one, two, three, four, five, come back, and knee down, breathe in, breathe out. Let's take a rest for five seconds more. If you can do the tree poses, go on a tree pose. If you cannot, that's fine. Let's move on to the right side, go into a forearm plank pose, and then roll onto the outer edge of right foot, and stack your left foot on top of it, and then she squeeze your hips up, hands reaching up, stay there, and then one, two, three, four, five, perfect, hold, five, four, three, two, one, come back to plank position, and kneeling position, let's do one more time, this time, make it a little bit more challenging for you, so I'm going to do three pose variation, side plank, let's do it. Take a deep breath in and out. Five more seconds rest. Let's do it. Okay, let's move into the side plank, plank position. And then roll your body onto the outer edge of right, your left foot. And then gently bring your hands up and off full overhead. And bring your right feet into your left thigh. And then come back. One, two, three, four five, hold, one, lift your high, hips high, three, two, one, wonderful, come back to a plank position, and kneeling position, and relax for five seconds, hmm. one more time left, okay, let's move into a farm plank position one more time again, farm plank, Push your palms into the mat, and then roll onto your outer edge of your right foot. Stack your left foot up, and then lift your hands up, up and overhead. If you could, if you can, bring your left foot on top of your right thigh, and let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to a plank position, and then kneeling position. And take a deep breath in, and out. Take a deep breath in, and out. Perfect. Wonderful. Let's move into a plank position. As you inhale, step forward. As you exhale, hips down on the mat. Uh, extend your both legs up. And we're going to practice Dandasana. Push, swipe your hips, right hips backwards, and lift your left hips and swipe it to the backwards so that there's energy going on hips backwards, sole of your feet forwards. And then push your palms next to your hips downwards. Suck your belly in, chest up, and crown of your head upwards. We're going to stay there in this active motion of Dandasana for. 10 seconds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Now, bring your left, right, right foot, sole of your right foot, inner left thigh, they, they are touching each other, and then rotate your body, so center of the chest facing towards your left foot. As you inhale, suck your belly in, chest up, and lengthen the spine. As you exhale, walk your hands slowly, slowly down. And stay there. Hmm. Exhale. Belly and your thigh touching first. And then as you exhale, go deeper, and chest and your leg is the next position. 
If you cannot do that, that's fine. Stay wherever you are. Just be aware of the body and the sensation happening in the body. As you exhale, go deeper, chin to the leg. You can grab your wrist behind your sole of your feet. Stay there. Right knees down, right hips down, chest forward and chin on your leg. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. As you inhale, slowly walk your hands up. And then right hands behind your tailbone, right here, fingers pointing that words. And then left hands reach above the sky. And as you bend your right elbow, reaching, left hand reaching up overhead. Stretch your side muscles of your body. Here we go. And inhale, come back. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, come back. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, come back. Exhale, stretch the body. One more time, inhale. And exhale, stretch. This time, we're going to lift our hips up in the sky. How? So let me show you. As you exhale, hips up, right fit down on the ground with a pointed toe and press the mat into through into your right foot and then reach up overhead and this is it okay ready go inhale and exhale come up lift the hips up one come back exhale inhale come up and exhale inhale come up lift your hips high as possible press through your left foot, stay there, and fing left foot, fingers, toes pointed, and right foot pressed down into it. Come down. Perfect. Switch your leg. Come. Slowly. Left sole of your feet, touch inner thigh of your right foot. As you rotate your body, so the center of the chest facing towards your right foot. As you inhale, suck your belly in. Lengthen the spine. As you exhale, move down. Belly on your thigh first. Perfect. <sighs> As you exhale, go deeper down into it. Chest on your leg. As you exhale, go deeper down into it. You can grab your wrist behind your sole of it. And chest forward, chin on your leg. Be aware of what is happening in the body and in the mind as well. Because when you go into a position that you feel discomfort, that's when mind works pretty much well. So I wanted to be aware of the mind, how it reacts to the body, bodily motion. As you inhale, come back, slowly come back. Perfect. Right hands in the back. No, I'm sorry. Left hands in the back. Exhale. As you bend your left elbow, reaching your right hands up overhead. Inhale, come back. Reaching overhead. Reaching overhead. One more time. Inhale, reach overhead. And exhale, come back. This time, remember, right foot, touch down with toes pointed. Push your hips up, pushing through the left foot into the ground and reaching up overhead with your right hands. Okay? As you inhale, lift your hips up and reach it all up overhead with your right hands. Come back, exhale. Inhale, reach up. Down, inhale up, and down. One more time, inhale up, and hold for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come back. Perfect. 
stay with the Dandasana. Relax your body. Come back to your breath. And I want you to sit with your sp legs spreading. And then slowly put your hands in front of you. What we're going to do, slowly go down and up, down and up. Toes pointing towards you, okay? Down and up, slowly. Down and up. Don't push yourself hard. Just do as much as you can. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. If you want to go further, what you can do is just try to minimize the support of your hands, which means if I don't use the hands, how far can I go down and come back? By using the muscles that I have through the leg, right? Now, if too difficult, using the hands, that's fine. Down and up. Five more times. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Now, circle your upper body. One, clockwise. Two, three, four. Five, reverse, one, two, three, four, five, perfect. And bring your legs in, sole of your feet touching each other. And what we're going to do, grab your feet with your hands. And as you inhale, lengthen the spine. As you exhale, slowly comes down. Don't push yourself. Just let the gravity do the work. All you have to do is slowly comes down. If it's too difficult, you can use your hands to support yourself. But if you're not, just let the body, upper body drop slowly. As you exhale, go deeper into the butterfly. As you exhale, go deeper. 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 Just relax. We're going to stay there for 30 more seconds. If it's too hard for you, you can gently push your hands into the ground and Make yourself up a little. Ten more seconds. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Slowly walk up. Wonderful. And gently butterfly wing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But with by using your hands, bring your knees together and then turn your body and extend your leg. And just do this. Tap, 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 tap. And then tap, 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 tap. bunny bone, tap, 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 tap. Ten times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Lie down on your back. Hands face, fa sole, palms facing upwards. Feet hips width apart. We're gonna do bridge number one. Push hips, lip, lift your hips up. Engage your glutes. Feet down and forward. Big toes, inward, heels, outwards, knee, keep the same distance all the time. Five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Come down. And then interlace your fingers behind your back. Walk your shoulders in. Scapula squeeze in. Lift your hips up. Bridge number two, variation. Ready, up. Same thing. 
Big toes inwards, heels outwards. Knees keep the same distance, the gap between the knees. Five, chest forward. Four, three, two, one. Comes down, upper back, middle back, lower back. Bring your knees together. Lift your head and shoulder up. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax your body. Perfect. Okay. Move your hips. No, actually this time. Let's bring your legs up with straight. And then palms facing downwards. And let the fall the legs to the right side. And look over the left shoulder with controlled motions. If it's possible, lift, always keep the feet lifted off the ground. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center. Let me show you in this way. This time left, left side. Let the legs fall to the left side and look over the right shoulder. Perfect. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center. And come. Into Savasana. Palms facing upwards. Relax your body on top of your mat. Close your eyes. Thank you very much for being with me today. I'm proud of all of you. Just be aware of your breath. Just be aware of your breath. As the body exhales, just relax every single part of your body. And searching for any tension in the body. If there is a tension, just relax that particular area of the body with tension. Now there is no tension in the body and there is no tension in the mind as well. Mind becomes clearer, calmer, Now, finally, you are able to be in this comfortable silence. Just be aware of your breath and stay there for five more minutes and see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Namaste.